Hey guys, Brian Bachkiller here, and I'm going to keep rolling on with my series called Being a Successful Musician. Today, we're going to talk about music as a business. So, I think that there's this sort of stigma, and I'm going to probably bring this word up a lot as I go along, but I think that there's this stigma with thinking of music as a business. We hear the term music business thrown around a lot and people kind of roll their eyes at it because the music business has proven lately to be kind of a bunch of shysters in a lot of ways, right? We know that. Um, but that is not really something that I think should undersell the fact that music is in fact a business. Um, you have to think of your music as a business because your music very simply is your business. You are selling a product. That product is not only your music, but everything that you associate with your music, including your image, your merchandise, things like that. It is a business. Um, you have to treat it as a business. You may not like that. If you don't like that, I hate to tell you, but you should probably, you know, move on and not try to be um, a, a, you know, full-time paid musician. I know that sounds kind of cold, but it's true. Um, and so, you know, personally what I feel and what I've had in my experience with my band, with myself, things like that, is that running things as a business really does help you. Um, keep, you know, important things to note, keeping track of your own expenses of your band, really knowing where your money goes and things like that. Um, between you and your band members, it's really good to run things business-like and have meetings sometimes that aren't just, you know, let's talk about songs we, run, we want to write and things like that. Talk about goals, talk about things that you want to do, um, things that you need in order to keep your business running, you know, what gear do you need, what do you all need, uh, things like that. Skills, you know, or is one of you working on a new skill, something that you're, that you think will enhance the band and therefore enhance your business. You know, that's an important thing to think about as well. Um, those are two things that really are going to help you out a lot. You know, your expenses, your goals, and sitting and talking as a group about where you're going, things like that. Um, you also need to think about marketing, obviously, and we'll talk about marketing at some point, but you know, how does a business get the word out that that business exists? It's through marketing, and you need to take a multi-layered approach to your marketing and hit as many different channels as you really can, video, web, Twitter, hitting the the pavement and promoting and things like that um, that's something that's going to play into it the other part of that business is going to be when you're interacting with people who are who are your your customers your clients um, whether that's promoters um, everyday people who listen to your music things like that how do you make those people that you work with into consistent clients you don't want one-off customers one-off customers really they're great but they really don't help you in the long run. If you want to create create sustainability, you want to create long-standing customers, people who want to continue to give you money for your product. The reason that Walmart continues to make money is very much because people continue to go there to buy things that they buy all the time. They don't shop around a lot. They know I can just go to Walmart and I can get it. You may not like thinking of your music as being like Walmart. I'm not crazy about it either, but you do need to take some of those things that have given success to other companies and roll them into what you are doing. So you want to create consistent customers. How do you do that? Your interaction, again, is very important. Creating a, a consistent product as well. You know, I really do think that it's very important to consistently release things to your customers. You know, you, if you're recording an album, you're recording an album and that's going to take you some time. However, uh, if you can continue to put out little things in order to show your customers that you are still there, they're more interested in giving you money as time goes on. So releasing one-off tracks that you record and just throw onto the web, that's a good way. New pieces of merchandise that are limited edition, whether it's a shirt or a button or a hat, something like that, those will be things that your customers, your listeners, will continue to want to get from you over time. Another thing that's worth mentioning 
mentioning is chasing the long tail and this is a very big theory but I'll distill it down very quickly which basically states that the long tail shows us that at the top of let's say a graph of sales we have our highest sales and as we go down we can see things that don't necessarily sell as well however if we go in very close at the end of that tail we can still find that there are a lot of small transactions that happen that can lead to money such as mp3 sales or selling pins things like that focus on some of those things and try to turn them into money as time goes on you know if you find that you can sell mp3s for fifty cents and you sell more mp3s at fifty cents than you do at a dollar then it's worth it to bring the price of those mp3s down and chase the long tail get more of those micro transactions that can lead to more money as you get more volume because more volume will equal more money for you so that's something that's very important chase the long tail read up a little bit on on the idea of the long tail there's a lot of good theories about this um, and it's something that's shown to be very useful to a lot of companies such as apple and such that sell a product that could necessarily be more expensive but they sell it for less money such as apps and things like that and they make more money because they sell more small items as time goes on these are all really important things and it really all rolls into again your music is a business if you want to make money off of your music you need to think of it as a business you need to look at your profit and your loss if you keep playing the same venue over and over again and you keep not making money there let's face it that venue is it's a loser it's a dog it's not really gonna work maybe it'll get better at some point or another but why should you keep expending your energy in that direction if it's not giving you a good return so look at your profit and loss the same for merchandise if you make one type of a shirt and you find that shirt doesn't sell well don't make that shirt again make a different shirt in my case I found things like you know I've realized the sizes that my customers will buy more frequently than other sizes so when I go to do shirts I will order less of one size of a shirt and more of another one and I just find that that pretty much stays consistent um, that keeps me from expending too much money because then I'm spending it the right way and I don't have merchandise sitting around doing nothing your whole point is to move merchandise whether it's your music or your actual merch shirts things like that or anything else that's what you want to do you need to move merchandise right that's what a business does it sells a product in order to make money so think of your music as a business and you will find that you will start to actually think of it as if you were going to your job and your boss or whatever tells you that you need to make more sales in this area or something like that think of your music the same way how do you make more sales in different channels and things along those lines you'll actually start to see a return from that I hope this is useful to you guys again I don't want to come off too preachy or anything like that but these are things that I've learned as time goes on and I want to be able to impart them onto other people as I do them if you have questions or comments please feel free to get in touch with me as always and uh, in the meantime just keep working on what you're working on keep pushing keep thinking keep coming up with new things and uh, who knows one of those things could really be the thing that pays off big for you and um, hopefully that's the case thanks a lot keep watching and take care